So here I'll show you how useful using the playback selection toggle will be. As you can see, what is highlighted gets brightened, while what is not highlighted gets dimmed. So here we have just the lead guitar playing, which is the lower portion of the spectrum. In that same spectrum is a bunch of high material I want to use for the percussion track. So I'm just testing to make sure I'm not removing too much, and also that it will mix with the backing track. So we still hear a lot of the percussion in the lead guitar, so we're going to try another approach. We could try re-separating that part to remove even more percussion. But in this instance, the sequence of separation is going to be the key. We're going to remove the percussion first. So let's check out the backing track from the new separation. Perfect. You can hear very little drum anomalies in the backing track. Now we can go ahead and extract the lead from the backing track. And you need to select Automatic from the Legacy Options. And here's the settings. So now we can check out the newly extracted lead guitar. And of course we can also see just how well our instrumental will work without the guitar. That seems to do the trick.